Hey guys, how's it going? This is Carlos from Undisputed Marketer and if you're watching this video, you're probably doing some research on how to create YouTube thumbnail using Canva. So in this video, we're going to dive deep into this topic. I'm going to actually create a YouTube thumbnail for this particular video so we can actually play with this and so on. So before we dive into this, uh, you can probably see that I'm in front of my YouTube channel, The Undisputed Marketer. So if you're not a subscriber yet, then I highly encourage you to click on this red button over here to subscribe to get the most content from me i strive to, to deliver each day a new video for all of you guys as you can probably guess it's a it's all about marketing online marketing affiliate marketing so if you're into this kind of topics then i highly highly encourage you to subscribe so let's dive into our today's topic and let's talk a little bit more about youtube thumbnails before we dive into the camera so a YouTube thumbnail is basically that picture that you put, you know, that own your own picture that you put in front of your video. And YouTube thumbnail can literally determine whether your video is going to be watched by the viewer or not. Now, a great, great YouTube thumbnail creates curiosity, engagement and maybe some outrageousness and so on. And it really is captivating for the viewer to click on it and check the video. Now, a great YouTube thumbnail does do something that is called you know raises the click-through rate now a click-through rate you can check in your youtube analytics and a click-through rate is basically very simple put how many or the percentage of people that actually search for a keyword in the youtube search and your video pops up in the results they see see it in the results and how many of them are going to click on your video that is a click-through rate the, the good numbers that you want to be around is around 4%. If your video has less than 4% click-through rate, you know you got to change your, your thumbnail. So let's dive into this. Let's head over to Canva. I'm going to log in using Facebook. I like to use Facebook. Or you can use Google, your email, whatever it is. Canva is completely free for using, using it for thumbnails, for creating business cards or whatever they do have some pay, paid versions but i don't personally use them i don't know how it works so i don't use them so let's dive into this and you can actually do whatever whatever you want over here you can do over here you are you have tem templates you have other other things you can actually browse that's what we are going to do so i'm going to check for youtube thumbnail it's already in my recent searches so i'm just going to click on over here and here you have ready-made designs for your YouTube thumbnail. Now, you can play with it as much as you want. It's completely up to you what you want to use. It doesn't really, there is no right or wrong with this. You can use whatever it is. And it very much depends on your own video, your own personality or whatever your video is all about, right? So you can choose over here from which one or you can just create your own one over here. I like to use some of these. Actually, I'm going to use this one. I personally do like this one so if you choose your design just click on it and it will open in the creator or, or in an editor or i'm not sure how, how it's called so here it is and as you can see here are these squares and everything over here that that design the designs all that shows you that these are all the different sections different elements so you can actually click over here and either delete it completely or change it, move it, whatever it is. So I'm going to delete this uh, this photo of, of, the, of this woman and I'm going to add my own photo. Now, for your own photos, you gotta go over here on the left side into the upload section and upload some, some photos, obviously, right? And so I'm not going to show you how to upload it. You can either upload it using, you know, click and drop over here or manually clicking on over here and selecting the photos you want. So I'm not going to upload it, but I'm just going to use some of these. So I'm just very easy, either click on it or just again, click and drop over here. Now, as you can see, it's a little bit smaller than the actual size of the thumbnail. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So let me just adjust it like this. Okay, this is perfect. And now you can see it's overlapping over here with the text, right? So uh, I'm going to right click over here and send it to back that will send it like completely to the back now Here is the text which we can really play with as much as we want now um, Remember we talk about uh, YouTube thumbnail it needs to be captivating and so on that really makes it also to the To the text that you put so you can do something like you know as it is 
with thumbnail I I can use something like amazing thumbnail in two minutes in two minutes okay sorry I cannot see it thumb nail in two minutes right let me just check because I cannot see it from the video yes something like this right and now as you can see it's a little bit smaller than we want it doesn't really make, make up the whole space we we have over there so what we are going to do is click over here and play with the line height and it just as you can see it moves over there and uh, let me just move it like this perfect now it's a little bit bigger but again we can still play with the height of the of the text now it is a little bit more um, let me just try something like 75 that is actually also quite huge maybe 73 is also too big interesting interestingly enough 72.5 is a good one so let's just stick with this one doesn't really make that much of a big difference but as you can see this one this section over here overlaps with the text so I'm going to move it a little bit over here and I'm going to change the color of it because uh, I don't really like the white so I'm going to use probably purple one let's just check how it looks like purple is good purple is really good you can use red you can use whatever it is but purple kind of like plays with that colors over there you can make it a little bit bigger you know something like this actually it's not a bad idea and you can also play with with this one again change the color as you wish i'm not going to change it personally i do like this one you can change the text colors you know to red or whatever i'm just going to stick with white you can also change the the font of the text over here but again i do like this one so i'm going to stick with this and this is basically it if you're satisfied with it, this is it then the only thing you need to do is click over here on download and here is the file type you can choose either png or jpj uh, PDF, pdf is not allowed on youtube so just choose uh, one of these two i like to use pngs in higher quality but again it doesn't really matter in for that small picture so i'm going to download it it is preparing your design over here as you can see here is the pop-up we just close this and here is our actual photo so i'm going to click on it and we can actually see how it looks like in real life so let's just have a look amazing what do you, what do you think guys i i think it's great so this is it guys regarding the 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 youtube thumbnail using canva i hope you enjoyed this i hope you hope you get lots of value from it i hope you see how how to create you know the youtube thumbnails using canva and let me know in the comments below what you think about this video and listen guys if you are interested in getting into affiliate marketing if you want to create you know a passive income for yourself if you want to you know change a little bit of the business that you are in then i highly encourage you to click the link below uh, there is a four day free video series that I created for all of you guys uh, that are interested in affiliate marketing. You don't really know what it is all about and you're a little bit maybe just full of questions. Then just click over there. You will find all the information over there. You will get free access to this four day free video series. And each day you will learn something new about affiliate marketing, what it is about, what it can do for you and how to actually do and work with affiliate marketing so this is it guys and i hope you enjoyed this and i hope to see you soon bye guys